What you guys got another video here for you. This one's been requested by one of my channel members. He wants to know is it possible to create a bootable USB thumb drive with his uh, Fat Dog 64 ISO image that he's got, which is based on Puppy Linux. Um, and the answer to that is yes. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do that. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, you can use this method for many different other ISO images that you've got. Now we're on a Windows 7 64 bit machine here and uh, we're on the desktop and I'll show you how quick and easy it is. So the first thing you're going to need is Universal USB installer, pretty awesome bit of kit and uh, just download that and once you've got that I've whacked mine on my desktop and then you're going to need your ISO image and uh, we're going to be using FatDog64 because that's what he requested and this is also an awesome bit of kit as well. Now let's, uh, I've already got these downloaded so let's crack on anyway now I've got my uh, USB thumb drive plugged in, I'm only using a little small one here. I like to use loads of these little small ones for uh, single ISO images like bootable windows and stuff like that. We're going to fire this up. OK, the first thing you're going to get is uh, the license agreement. We're going to agree to that. Now we need to select our ISO. Now as you can see there is a long list of ISO images that you can use. Um, but what we're going to do here is come down to the one we need, which is uh, Fat Dog, and there it is based on Puppy Linux. And uh, you can also use other ISOs, i.e., uh, antivirus ones, Acronis, anything like that. So you don't just have to have Linux based stuff as well. You can come down to um, antivirus stuff here, as I said, live antivirus CDs, Trinity, well, that's based on Linux, basically, and uh, Kaspersky and stuff like that. But if you want non. Um, Linux based you can also try that by coming down the bottom here and you've also got Hiram's boot CD and Windows 7 installer and Windows 8 installer and stuff like that okay so let's get on with our one that we wanted to do which was Fat Dog which is the one that he requested and uh, you can download it from here if you wish you don't have to do it the way I showed you you can click on this and it will download I've already got the ISO on my desktop so I'm going to just quickly browse to that click open and there we have when it goes green that means you've got a good connection there and then we need to select our drive letter in this case mine's H now if you've got more than one showing up here just be sure that you are selecting the right one because otherwise you're going to end up wiping a drive that you don't want to wipe so this one is H so I know it's the correct one Okay, next thing we want to do is go create, and that's going to create our USB thumb drive to make it bootable. So let's go on and do that. Okay, we're going to say yes to this. It's just going to create our SysLinux uh, MBR on our H drive, and then create the uh, pen drive label on it, and also install FatDog64 onto our pen drive, which is going to be awesome. So let's click OK or yes. Now you'll get a load of stuff popping up on the screen just let it do its magic it will take some time to go and make yourself a cup of tea so as you can see here we've got our processed uh, size in megabytes how much we're using total size what we started with compressed size and this is the actual uh, compression rate which is 100 percent and then you just need to let this uh, go and it gives you the remaining time and an and elapsed time as well okay so that's the installation nearly finished and once we've installed this we'll fire this bad boy up and see what it looks like it's saying it's now complete it's going to click on close okay so what we're going to do now is reboot the system into our fat dog 64 and see what it looks like Okay, so we'll just let this load in. And there we are. Let's boot it up. And you may be saying to yourself, what can I use this for? Well, pretty much anything really. It's packed with uh, useful tools and utilities. You can remove malware. You can access your drive if it's not bootable. Uh, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, so it is a very useful thing to have um, it's always advisable to have one of these especially if your computer's got ransomware or something like that MBR lock 
and you can't get onto the system system it's also got loads of other good useful tools on it okay so i hope this is what you wanted so i hope this helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favoring all my videos and i'll be making more useful uh, videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys bye for now